Brooklyn's like a, it's a barrel, right? If it was its own city, it'd be like one of the largest cities in the world. Just knowing that, that there's so many places in Brooklyn that you haven't been to, it's always, I feel like it's always my first time being, and it all looks the same kind of, you know? I feel like in New York, it's a story or some type of history on every street. I mean, just coming back, I know where I come from, and making it all the way to this big city of New York. It's like, man, anything's possible. You can gravitate to whatever you want. I think basketball opened up a lot of doors for me and my family, and that was just the goal once I picked up the ball. And every year, it just started to elevate. When I first got out here, I was exploring around, looking for different foods and doing all that. It's a place on every corner, don't get me wrong. It's a lot of bad food for your body here too. So I tried to take a better step at eating healthy and I kind of try to stay on a strict regimen during the season and keep it clean. The real drive is the quality, really. Once you've tried a good quality product once and you've been explained why it's good, it's really difficult to go back to just not paying attention. The quality determines the entire experience in a way. And to see that people respond positively and notice, even though they don't know the whole story behind the ingredient, that itself is the reason why we want to focus on quality over and over again. Once you start, you can't go back. You come to New York and it's all people talk about is pizza this, pizza that. And then you taste it and they may have overdid it and you're just like, man, it ain't nothing. And then when you, you try some good pizza, you really got to give credit to it. All the flour is organic. It's very fermented. When you eat it, you don't feel quite as full. It's like a much healthier way to enjoy something that's not really thought of as healthy. I feel like basketball players in general are some of the most popular people in the States. In New York, everybody's kind of on top of each other. So if one person sees you, you're destined to stop and see 20 other people trying to get your attention as well. Everybody's walking, everybody's on top of each other. The situation can be overwhelming, but when it comes to basketball, it's fun, man. You, best job in the world, I swear. It's very important for people to see themselves in different spaces, and not, not just a wellness space, but you know, you go to work and you don't see other people that you know, have similar ideas as you or similar backgrounds. Sometimes that can feel very isolating. There's no right or wrong on how to meditate, and that's the thing that we get caught up in so often, and it's not about that. It's about your personal journey and you getting better as time goes on. We go through our day-to-day -day routines, whether it's family and work and all these different things, and forget to check in on ourselves. And that's essentially what the space is about. As a professional athlete, it's good to be disconnected from work and your job, because you, you eat and sleep basketball. So at the end of the day, it's all about your energy and where you're, what you're thinking and how you decide to come off with it. I try to balance out that. I try to keep people around me that are in the same state of mind as me, you know, when it comes to just good energy and just control what you can control. Like, I can't control this outside noise. I can't control your opinion, like stuff like that. Just living everyday life by that. I think that just kind of helps me stay in that, that routine. I like fashion, so I'm, I'm always shopping. I'm always, you know, trying to figure out a hole in the wall type spot. I'm big on that. And I feel like New York's like the, the mecca of that, you know? I feel like you can really get away with anything when it comes to fashion here. And, and you got a million other people trying to do the same thing. Whatever your anything is, there's people here trying to do that too, you know? Brooklyn is a circus. We felt that Brooklyn was just so layered, so chaotic, and yet so beautifully crazy. And we wanted to create a platform to bring all those elements into the clothing industry, into fashion, into graphics, and put it all under a tent. All the elements are absolutely handpicked. Everything from the leather cuffs to the wool that we use, to the types of buttons that we use. I mean, I can absolutely create the same jacket for $120. Yeah. That's not what we do. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> Man, with taste. I love it. I love it. For us, we want to be able to see you come back 10 years from the time that you purchased the jacket, and you know, it becomes a classic. When people are starting their own lines and doing that, I'm big on, you know, just, you know, rocking it. And people are like, where is that? Where'd you get that? And I'm just like, 
That's a cool little feeling. Right here, they got our most of our team's faces on the front of it. So you're driving past and you get to see your face on the front of the building, that'll never get old. That's a moment right there. So I feel like every time I, we drive past, I see that, I'm like, gives you little chills, you know?